Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivation advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about giving back this holiday season. With Christmas just around the corner, it's important to remember the true meaning of Christmas, love, family, and giving back. Not only is it important to reflect on all the things you're grateful for, but it's also important to use this time to give back to those in need. Though these are happy times for many, there are many people out there struggling with mental health issues, poverty, a loss of a family member or friend. So it's important that we are conscious of these things and spread cheer to those all around us. This can be as simple as giving a smile to a stranger, donating money to your local food bank or charity, or simply sending a Christmas card to remind someone that they are loved and that you are thinking of them. Remember, though 2020 has been a difficult year, there is always something to be grateful for. Make it your mission today to reflect on gratitude and sparkling a little magic into anyone's life by being extra kind to everyone around you. The true meaning of Christmas is love, so I wish all my viewers watching this that your heart is overpowering with love, joy, and gratitude. From all of us here at Tag TV, I wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break. And speaking of selfies, I know a very famous Canadian, Justin Bieber, came to take a selfie with you at Yorkdale. You know, that was all over the news a few years ago. Let's talk about that because I know that was also tied to the Sick Kids Hospital. Yeah, I mean, that was kind of a fluke uh, in a way that uh, Justin was going through some strange times. I think it was a dark period in his, mm -hmm. in his life. And I think, you know, I had just came on the scene and I, you know, it went viral uh, that that's that holiday. Um, I think there was about three billion impressions at that point. Next up on the show on this Christmas edition, we have Paul Mason, also known as Fashion Santa. Paul created the Fashion Santa character, which took the world by storm. In 2015, over 88 hours of selfies were taken, including one with fellow Canadian superstar Justin Bieber to raise money for the Sick Kids Hospital. Paul's mission today is simple, to enliven the spirit of Santa to help those that need it most. All of Paul's work is grounded in philanthropy with every appearance tied to a charity or nonprofit organization. Paul, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? Um, I'm pretty good. I'm holding up. Uh, we're coming to the end, so uh, not bad. I'm a little tired. <laughs> it's just beginning, right? Because you're going to have to deliver all of the toys to all the boys and girls tonight. <laughs> Okay. Christmas season. <laughs> I actually don't do that. I leave that to the to the other guy. He does. <laughs> I don't another, I don't another thing there. So let's talk about how you started the Fashion Santa brand and why. Um, okay, going back to a little bit of history, and I won't do it. I can kind of condense this. Uh, I was a model in New York City for about like 15 years with Ford Models. Uh, my mother. Um, she got diagnosed with cancer and uh, I moved back home after a long career there. Unfortunately, she passed away uh, and in my grief, I guess, you know, I just had a little bit of a lapse and took a, a bit of time off, which was about six months. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, woke up with this beard and, you know, it was like I was sort of out of work and also I thought, you know, I've been in advertising long enough to know what may work and may not work as far as imaging and, and brand association and all that stuff. So I just thought, why not do this, but make it a, a sort of like a new take on, on Santa Claus, but giving back in a way that say for every, every uh, collaboration or uh, event, um, I would generate something for a cause or charity. So that's how that started. Yeah, and you obviously have an uncanny resemblance to Santa. H have people told you that? And is that kind of what caused you to create this brand? Or was that something you did on your own? Well, first of all, I didn't know I could grow the beard. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't even, I mean, it was, it's something that uh, I've never did, I never did before. Um, but yeah, a lot of people, when I looked at it, it was like, why couldn't there be an elegant, more elegant kind of thinner kind of, fashiony Santa Claus why not so um, yeah that's how I started yeah and you said you were a model and I did used to see you at Toronto Men's Fashion Week you know you were the iconic model there so how do you think your modeling career has kind of helped you with this fashion Santa brand 
I think, you know, I started modeling when I was about 24 years old, 23 years old. So I've learned a lot about the business. I've learned about a lot about style and fashion. Um, so I have that to back me up. Um, I'm still involved. I mean, uh, last February, I closed the uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier show. Wow. wow. His last couture show back in Paris. So, I mean, I'm still working as a model, not so much because I want to concentrate on my fashion style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and let's talk about the different charities that you're involved with. I know you're involved with Sick Kids, that's just one of them. So let's talk about why it's important for you to give back. That's, I mean, it kind of evolved that way. You were, you were speaking of Men's Fashion Week, and I remember um, doing so many selfies with so many people after yeah. the event. That, um, so I thought, what way could I generate some income, do selfies, and, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, combine the two. So um, that's how kind of that that part of Fashion Santa started. But uh, the comp the charity is very important, and that's what defines me. I guess different from the the traditional Santa Claus is that uh, for every activation or partnership or collaboration, there's a um, sort of like a clause in there that says uh, there has to be a, com a charity component or um, some type of uh, yeah charity drive. Mm -hmm. And speaking of selfies, I know a very famous Canadian, Justin Bieber, came to take a selfie with you at Yorkdale. You know, that was all over the news a few years ago. Let's talk about that, because I know that was also tied to the Sick Kids Hospital. Yeah, I mean, that was kind of a fluke uh, in a way that uh, Justin was going through some strange times. I think it was a dark period in his, mm -hmm. in his life. And I think, you know, I had just came on the scene and I, you know, it went viral uh, that, that's, that holiday. Um, I think there was about three billion impressions at that point, and and I, I know his family's from uh, from Canada or from Ontario, and so I think he was visiting for uh, the holiday season. But it just so happens that I, I like to believe that he came in for a goodwill and, um, sort of like to boost up his persona a little bit mm -hmm. with Santa and associated with sick kids. So. He came in, um, we did this all underground. I had a, a whole lineup of people waiting for me to do wow. selfies. I had people, like about 100 people in line waiting. We got the news that he was coming in through the back and uh, we did this and we got him to make a large donation to Sick Kids uh, as, as a you know as a bonus. Uh, mm -hmm. So that was a win-win for everyone. I have to say though, I'm, I'm now really involved with this. I don't know if you saw my last post, but Ryan Reynolds, the actor, is actively involved with the Kids, mm -hmm. uh, Kids Foundation, and he put out a, um, a really ugly Christmas sweater, uh, and it's the, the campaign is called Van City Reynolds, and uh, I have it right here, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and it is quite ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> uh, right now, they're doing a charity drive at this moment till I believe uh, Christmas Day mm -hmm. and for all the donations made Samsung will um, make a donation um, so double that to a hundred thousand dollars wow so so uh, if um, if you're seeing this it's called Van City Reynolds and you can go to sick kids foundation to learn how to, to, to find out how to donate but uh, yeah I think this is I think this is a uh, categorize something as an ugly sweater, don't you? <laughs> you know what, I'm sure as the model and you're stylish, I'm sure you're gonna make it look amazing. <laughs> it's, it's done, it, it's, 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 a, it's a wicked shot. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> I actually interviewed Ryan Reynolds um, a few years back and he's such a awesome, humble guy, you know? So, and, and I love that he's giving back and that you're giving back. I wanna talk about the different charities that you're involved with. I know Sick Kids is one of them, but you're also involved in some others. So let's talk about those charities. Sure. So um, you could go down through the list. I mean, I, my mother was afflicted with not only cancer, but she had heart disease and she had, um, she had um, COPD, which is a, a lung disorder. Um, so those three, um, Charities are, are dear to my heart, but I also work with um, with the um, the Ritz Carlton Hotel, and we mm -hmm. did a whole um, activation where I was raising money for the Children's Miracle Network. So mm -hmm. it's a miracle network of hospitals all over the states in Canada. Um, heart and Stroke was a big one. Uh, we uh, was raising some money for Heart and Stroke, um, and also. Um, 
Boys and Girls Club of America. That was a, a, a big um, activation I did. I also did something with uh, Walter Caesar, um, Canadian guys who put out this amazing premium Caesar mix. Uh, for every bottle sold with them goes to uh, big big brothers and big sisters. Mm -hmm. So that was that was great. And uh, yeah, so I mean, it's it's the new charity I want to get involved with. There's an act, uh, a non for profit that um, will pay for urban kids to make their their uh, doctor's appointments in the in the cities, and they don't have the funding or they don't have the means to get to these appointments. And mm -hmm. through Airbnb and WestJet. Um, next year and myself I uh, would like to raise um, some money through um, to get that going and so I think it's really important for these kids to make these appointments um, I put out a, a series of four uh, holiday cards this year uh, the, all the proceeds 100% of the proceeds goes to sick kids they're really fun yeah. and uh, it was really amazing I just found out today that my furthest sale was uh, Melbourne Australia this morning so wow. Yeah, so I'm really thrilled. Um, it, you know, maybe I'd be working to, um, closer to my own foundation. Maybe one day, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. holiday foundation, fashion center foundation sounds really nice. Yeah. Yeah. So those are the type of things I've been working on, and and I, again, uh, it's a mission statement for me, but it's also a contractual thing. Anything that I get involved with, there has to be an element of charity, and it can be a charity of choice too, from mm -hmm. um, any corporation or. Um, or a person that wants to align themselves with me. You know, it must feel so rewarding that you're able to give back and, you know, as well build a brand. I want to talk about, you know, how would you encourage our viewers to give back this holiday season? Because it's so important, you know, this holidays are not about receiving, they're also about giving. So how would you encourage them? Because I'm sure it's been so rewarding for you, you know, knowing that your work is making a difference. Yeah, I mean, this is... <laughs> Before I went into modeling, I was I went to Ryerson for social work, and it was I guess I do have that kind of um, wanting to help or wanting to make a difference uh, has always been instilled in me. Um, I, I mean, again, this Van City Reynolds activation with sick kids is just a way. I think, you know, we're blessed, you know, and at this time in in, in our life and this situation that we're all um, in, um, I think it's best to you know to make yourself. Uh, feel good and by donating to some cause or charity um, can do that and uh, maybe if, if maybe it's not um, buying a gift this year maybe it's uh, like donating to the food bank or donating to you know sick kids hospital or, or donating to somewhere and uh, you know because I think all these uh, everyone is in a challenging situation at the moment and uh, I think um, yeah we just have to keep going mm -hmm. Yes. Speaking of challenging situations, you know, this pandemic has been difficult for everybody. So I want to ask you, what's something that you learned about yourself during this pandemic? And what's one thing you're grateful for? I, uh, I don't mind the isolation because I quite get all my ideas when I isolate and I'm kind of on my own. But I didn't realize how much of a social animal I am. Yeah. Like, and, you know, I didn't realize that's one part of my... Um, my fashion Santa character that I really miss this year is, is the meeting of the people and just all the events where I would do selfies with the public and, and my fans and my followers and, and the people. Like, I really miss that. Mm -hmm. So I guess all in all, I am a bit of a social creature. Um, yeah, that's what I discovered about myself. And uh, I think, I mean, a message for everyone during this period, I, I think we need to practice a little bit more self-love and because and just love yourself a little bit more than usual because these are challenging times. We always are told this is what we need to do. We need to be this and we need to be that. But you know what? Sometimes we fall short and it's okay. You know, mm -hmm. like this is uh, unprecedented times and uh, a bit of self-love would go a long way, I believe. Yeah, I completely agree. You know, people around these times, they forget to take care of themselves, not just physically, but most importantly, mentally, because, you know, that, that obviously um, creates your reality, how you think. So I think that's really great advice. You know, what do you want people to know about the Fashion Santa brand? I want, uh, uh, it's a great question because that means I have a future when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. It's going to be a long term thing, I'm sure. I just want them to know, I want everyone to know that the Fashion Center brand is always associated for doing better or for doing good. Mm -hmm. So um, it, 
if I can be used in a way to generate any income towards a charity or cause or, or, or bring awareness to something, um, I'm all for it. So that's probably the message that I would like to put out there is that if in doubt, if you need someone at, at, at holiday mm -hmm. to um, bring awareness to what your, you know, your cause or your charity, I'm your guy. That's great. Thank you so much, Paul, for being on the show today and keep up the incredible work of giving back. It's so needed. Your spirit is great. And I love this Fashion Santa brand. You know, it, it's really needed in the world right now, especially with, you know, it is a bit of dark times right now and you're bringing light to the world. So thank you for that. Thank and you. Merry Christmas and yeah. happy holidays to you. Okay. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch live through YouTube and Facebook.